Hello, Puff Cuff Nation. Happy Black History Month. We are here to, can everybody see us, hear us okay? I'm Sita, this is baby sis Jennifer. We are here with um, quick date night styles in lieu of, hello from Stone Mountain. Hey, you just a, a stone throws over the ridge. <laughs> um, thank you about being beautiful. We try. Lord knows what all these children and husbands we got. It, 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 it's a little bit of work. But anyway, so we are here tonight <laughs> to uh, show you a couple of quick date night styles for um, in lieu of uh, Valentine's Day, whether you celebrate it or not. But we just thought that would be a nice, cute little subject to do this evening. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of styles um, on my sister. She is truly a, if you're into hair classifications, she is 100% a 4B um, and has always been a 4B. She is 10 years younger than me and I've been doing her hair since she was a mere, what, knee high <laughs> to a grasshopper? So... Tonight we're going to do a couple of quick styles. Hopefully we can make it through. Let's see, we have on docket one, two, three, four, five, five. Hey, Organo Smart. <laughs> oh, that's that's the people that send the water to Memphis. Look it up. Not Memphis. To Flint. To Flint. They send in good water to Flint. Because knowing that is a total shame what's going on at Flint. We, that's yes, a whole nother conversation. But anyway. So we're gonna start out with the side bun with the front chunky flat twist. So I'm not gonna do too much of a big part, but we're just gonna start here with a side part. So um, we know where to start our flat twist. I am one of those people who I really don't, since I've, I'd say for the past year or so, I've not, I've kind of stopped um, combing through my hair. I usually just kind of finger it to detangle it because one thing, the puff cuff works best when your hair is most dense. And I find that when you don't comb through your hair, that's when you get your best curls. So we're starting over here on the side. I'm heavy handed. So if she screams out, just kind of ignore it. Um, <laughs> But we're going to start out with the, ch the chunky twist. And you can see how easy this is. Actually, I think I'm going to twist it. You want it towards your face or away from your face? Mm. Let's do it towards. Okay. Let's just see what it looks like. So what I've learned with twisting, you almost have to twist the, the chunks of hair at the same time while you're interlocking them together. Then you end up getting a better Hi, Brooklyn. looking twist. And I had to learn to not twist so tight in order to keep the, the fullness going. Who made our shirts, Sita? Actually, we made our shirts. What I do is we would sell the shirts on, um, on our website, www.thepuffcuff.com. And um, we just happen to have on the long sleeve, but we sell the short sleeve on our website. And what I do is I usually scour Walmart <laughs> for when they go on sale and uh, buy up as many as I can. And then I have a guy who... Uh, um, Thank you so much. I have a guy who does my rhinestones for me. And he just presses the shirts for, him, for me as I need them. So I'm keeping going around with this chunky twist. And actually, Jenny's hair is shorter in the back. So this is a style that you can achieve and not have to have a whole lot of length in the back. No date tonight, but the babies are asleep. So when I get home, you never know. She <laughs> might be making another. <laughs> so we've got that twist going around the side. And for here, I'm just going to grab it and pull it down. 
I'm not going to twist that. Oops, I'm sorry. I grabbed your earring. And because when I do her puff on the side, I'm almost going like her, her when I gather it together, hey, Jersey, um, my the circumference of my fist is about this size. So that's why I try to kind of, <laughs> I can kind of uh, try to base my puff cuff on that size. So I'm going to actually use the micro. A lot of people think that, oh, my hair is too big for the micro. What? No, it's not. All you got to do is figure out different styles that you can use with the micro. You don't have to put all of your hair in it. Oh, that has nothing to do with a uh, puff cuff, so baby, uh, you can go away. Yeah, block you. Okay, so we've got the side twist, kind of turn that, side twist, chunky flat twist with side bun. And then you just kind of fluff and pull it. No, as as they're not locks. To. Somebody's asking, do you have locks? No, I've got, um, the girl who does them, they're called what, retro twists. So, that's one style. Kind of give them a, you know, cute, able to go to the movies. Okay, back a little bit. No, we're not twins. Actually, we both have sets of twins, but we're not twins. Actually, my sister is 10 years younger than me. Black don't crack. <laughs> so, that was style one. Now we're going to take this down. And next we're going to do... <laughs> next we're going to do a top bun with a couple of accented headbands. So, one thing that, that you can notice with the puff cuff, once you style your hair once, it doesn't crimp your hair in a way that you can't do something else different with it. So, for this one, oh, where's my board? Got my board, new, brand new board bristle, bristle brush from Walmart. Because my, I have two sons that have decided to grow their hair out natural and they're always stealing my picks and everything. <laughs> read the question, if you can read the question. Someone asked, could you use a puff cup in your beard? You, uh, if you gather your beard, of course, I mean, gear, beards are have a lot of texture, so of course, if you gather your beard in a, um, like, ponytail, I would think the micro would work perfect for it, depending on thick. That is a good um, observation because my uh, puff cup is um, puff cup is a uh, unisex styling tool. So we had to block a couple of trolls there. Sorry. So um, right now we're doing the top bun. And we've got two ways to do the top bun. I've learned a couple different ways to do it. So we've got, I don't know, <laughs> uh, them, these, I, they need life is what, what uh, I kind of think what's going on. But they sitting on Periscope just waiting to harass people. So I'm going to use the, for this, I think I'm going to use the mini, which is this size. This is the second from the smallest. So, I'm gonna put it up in the mini, not tight or anything. And then, it's easy. This is a trick one of our followers taught me how to do a bun, especially if you don't have a lot, a lot of length, but you kind of trick yourself, trick the, trick, your hair into making a bun. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, our, our husbands do come home every night. <laughs> he said he hopes his wife. <laughs> <laughs> he hopes his wife what? <clears throat> Looks like us. Oh. Um. 
Take a couple of bobby pins. This is the easy way to fake a bun. Okay. So you gather it at the top. Instead of normally going out and then trying to stuff it around, mm -hmm. you pull it up, gather it at the top, kind of twist your ends together, and push it down in the center. Oh. Then you take your bobby pin. You take your bobby pin and try to get it to... Stay down in the center. That's cool. So, you see how easy that is? That's really cute. I like that. And then to dress it up a little bit, I bought some of these real cheap hair bands. Uh, which size did we use? That one we started off. We started off with the uh, puff cuff mini. That was the mini. Thank you so much. We're glad you're joining us for our periscopes. So what I do is kind of hold this for me. Hold yeah, it right there, like in the front. Yep. Yeah. Just to dress it up a little bit. Do a couple of different colored ones here, and kind of crisscross them to give your hair a little bit of pizzazz. Pizzazz. Match your outfit. Here. Mm -hmm. we'll go with the gold See you. Cute. cute little date night bun. And you would set your hair with a little water. Right. You could, I mean, some people like the fuzzy edges, some people like the straight edges, but you know. Super easy, super easy, super cute. I like that. Okay, next style. He's in heaven. <laughs> okay, so next style we're gonna do. Top bun with scarf, is that still me? Yep. Next, we're gonna leave this up. So let's say you decided that Your twist out or your, you know, when you stretched your hair, you didn't really like it too much. But you still want to have that bun look. Mm -hmm. So, I saw this on Pinterest the other day and I thought it was so adorable. So, you take one of these, you know, one of these long scarves. It's not a pashmina. It's called a Walmart mina. <laughs> and they're on clearance right now because they were from the fall collection. So, you take it. And um, kind of cover your bun up. I'm going to have you hold this right here. Tie it in the back in a knot. Tie it twice so it kind of anchors it down. And then what I do is, can I still hold it? I don't think you can let it go. You remember these clips from a long time ago? These things, you see them? I think they're, I used to call them duck bill clips or whatever. I kind of take it and I clip your, the, the scarf to your head in the back. I dropped the, oh, here it is. So, your scarf won't move on you. So once I've got that in, I kind of twist this, the two ends together, and I bring it up, keep on twisting, and you kind of keep tucking it around your bun. So then your hair gives you the height that you want and you're not in pain underneath. So then you got a quick head wrap style. That's cute. How do you guys like that one? Bend over a little bit. 
See? This, okay, you have a question. Carmel, Carmel gal, tell, me, tell us what your question is. So this right here, while I say that, this is a super sundress style. Ooh, can you imagine if she had on a hot pink sundress with her hair pulled up and some big hoop earrings? <laughs> she have, is the size of the puff cuff dessert determine the size of your puff? It can. It can, and it, it yes and no. If, if you want a bigger puff, if you want a bigger puff, yeah, you're going to use this one, the big, big one. This is the biggest one. So you can see how big it is on my hand. Can we show them that? Show them what? Yeah, I'll like, show them. Like, take, take this one out and put the original in? Yeah. That's the one I have. Yes. So this one, the next one, is the junior. What I'll do is I'm going to show you the difference. And by the way, folks, um, we always post these periscopes on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. channel. So you so can go back demos, and watch them. Yeah, you can go back and watch these demos. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take her bun out. Okay, so this is a bun based on the mini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the bun based on the mini. So if I wore it as a puff, it would be... Like this. Yes, this is the mini. Let me add a little water. Okay. So remember, to get it out, you just push the sides together, and it pops open, and you take it out. So now I'm going to show you the puff with the junior... The next size big is the next size up. You still gather it first. Put in one side, bring the other one around, close it. Then you can see it kind of gets more full. Mm -hmm. Then the next one, push the arms together, pop it open. The next one we're going to do the original. You notice every time I use it, I'm doing, I'm gathering her hair the same way. How do you know what size puff cuff to get? Hold on, I'll answer that question in just a minute. So you see how it, the puff continues to get bigger. You get more volume with the bigger puff cuff you wear. Yeah, the bigger puff cuff you wear, you get more volume. But the smaller puff cuff you wear, you get like more height. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So, those are, let's see, where are we at in our styling? Oh, and my, there was a question that's asked, what, what do you know, um... Don't feel like an imposter because no, if you, you can wear your hair you, curly and still yeah. wear a puff cuff. If you wear your hair in a rod set or, mm -hmm. you know, bantu knots, twist out or whatever, and you have a relaxer, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be um, just on uh, natural hair. As long as your hair is curly, then it'll work. The only thing is it won't work on straight hair. Straight hair, it'll slide right out. So, let's see. Top bun with scarf. Okay. One thing, let's see. You guys, I'm gonna do one more, one more quick something on her, really quick. Okay. Hmm? I saw this on a girl today. I don't know if I can do it real quick or not. How much time do we got? Oh, it's seven. Seven forty-nine. Seven forty-nine. Let's see what that is. Okay. A lot of the times I when I'm styling my hair what was that <laughs> well a lot of times when I'm styling my hair I might use a puff cuff in order to keep my other hair out of the way while I'm working with it to section off my hair is what I'm saying this might look crazy but we'll see 
what it is is it's kind of like two corn rolls quick question i used one of my products over last care for bantu knots and it was great but flaked really bad are you asking for a product selection a product suggestion if so i'm not really a product person i really just use what's under my kitchen sink i mean not under the kitchen sink in my pantry but you could try something like a water-based uh creamy styler kind of like a maybe shea moisture has like a a pot of i don't know what it's called but it's it's a shea moisture product and i know it's water-based and that wouldn't flake on you so you need something that's probably more water-based instead of you know having something else as the first ingredient so it's water-based if if water is the first ingredient So what I did was, will you, will you be open? <laughs> um, you can always go. She wants to know when we'll be opening positions for brand ambassador. The link is always open on our website. So you can always go and apply whenever you want to. Um, I know we're going to be re-upping again our brand ambassador. I'm looking for new brand ambassador um, probably very soon because the ones that we have... Um, may be transitioning out. So it just depends on if they want us to remain with the program or not. So we've got two side twists. She says, I don't have a huge following. Is that something you look for? We do look for um, people with a nice following, but there's different ways that you can be a brand ambassador. You can be, you don't have to have a huge following and you can be like a local ambassador, which that means you would go to different, um, you would go to different events within your community and promote the Pupka. So this one is more like a front. Okay, just too flaky. Okay, so this one is just like a front puff, but what I did was I did the two side braids. And then kind of clamped it in the back. Keep turning. And then did the junior, go back the other way. Did the junior puff cuff in the top just to make a nice front bang. Hmm. That's cute. So, cool beans. Very nice. Okay, so ladies, now I'm going to show you a couple more um, styles on my hair because I've got the retro twists in. So, I love these things as my protective style. Um, what I've been seeing a lot lately is this top knot that I think is so sexy, especially when it's on um, people with longer length hair. And my hair, when it's, I'm a, I'm a true uh, 4B also. So when I have my natural hair out, um, unless I'm stretching it, it doesn't have a whole lot of length. So I'm pulling up a good amount of my twists and I'm going to use a mini to clamp them together. And the way you do it, just bring this bad puppy around, take the ends and stuff them up underneath. Then you've got that top knot, which I might take a couple of pup, uh, bobby pins just to bring it down some, so it don't look like I have a pineapple on top of my head. <clears throat> yes, it can be used with locks. It can be used with with um. Box braids, 
Marley twists. I just think that is so cute. What do you guys think? And see, it's so easy and so quick. Then, if you want, yes, use it with your braids. So I've got that, and let's say I'm going out on the second night. <laughs> and I want to change it up a little bit. I will get a junior. Sorry for the pause. You ain't got braids. Well, I know you know somebody that might have some braids. You can recommend it, sweetie. Don't feel gay in here because you know there's some brothers with uh, locks. Locks. And uh, just straight afro because men got beautiful hair because they ain't been using chemicals in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I've got a top knot, nice little ponytail in the back. Or I'm going to do a second bun in the back by twisting it around, twisting all these around. I know it's kind of difficult to see, but I'll show you in just a second. Do you need a pin? Mm -mm. What we've discovered is now I made the inner ponytail with and we're getting ready to sign off in a few minutes because we're using up our half an hour i know everybody got to get ready get ready for their tgit night mm -hmm. all y'all scandal and the gray's anatomy and murder what's the other how one? to get away with murder yeah how to get away to murder fanatics <laughs> so i'm going to turn around a little bit to see if you guys can see what i'm doing so i've got the back bun it's not secure yet but is it possible to stack puff cuffs? That's what I'm getting ready to do. One, so you don't so have, you to, don't use have to use pins. bobby pins. That's exactly what we're getting ready to do. So you take, I've got it kind of tucked in underneath all the little ends, but then you take the big one and bring it around the outer part of the bun. That's smart. <clears throat> no bobby pins. Ain't that something? And you can hardly even see it. And you can't cut. hardly see it. And you definitely cannot feel. You don't have 10,000 bobby pins stuck in the back of your head. That's that's great. So, isn't this, I mean, y'all. You could do that on the top of your head, too, though. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it on the top of my head, too. But I just think this is so, this is what I'm wearing to church on Sunday. Because I got an Ursher. So, this is going to be my Ursher. <laughs> My new Ursher uh, hairstyle. Um, oh, you know what we could do? Look, look what else I got. This was $2 at Walmart in the clearance section. Mm, clearance. In the jewelry clearance section. Of course, I was, I was having a Walmart moment today. They had all their stuff on clearance. So what I'm going to do is, hold this for me in the front. Okay, Tamar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dot com. Even though I can't. <laughs> Love that child, but she needs some help sometimes. So, that is so, That's just cute. too easy. Your man would be like, girl, what you, you been, been on Pinterest too long? But anyway, <laughs> so let's go to the next one right quick. Still easy as pie to get it out. Pastor gonna have a fit. I just have my, uh, what you call it, my, my, uh, what do you call that cloth you got to put on? your, <laughs> your modesty yeah, cloth. Yeah, your modesty right, cloth. Right, but I have to put it over my head, I guess. <laughs> so we push, look, came out, I'm not going to have any lost, forever lost bobby pins in, the, in my head. Second one, I kind of take this bun off, I mean, kind of loosen it up, push that one together. Take that one off. Back to the original style. I think I had a couple bobby pins in this one. Taking that out. But you could do this at the top too. Mm-hmm. 
taking that out, pushing this together, got that out. So I'm going to do the same concept on the top. The key is to do this, you do need a smaller puff cuff in the center. So with all of these twists I got, I'm going to use the junior to hold my ponytail up originally. So I got that, kind of push it together, twist it, that's done. Now, I'm going to take all of these, kind of swing them around, tuck them in as best as, when Puff Cuff is going. We have a campaign coming up. She's asking, when are Puff Cuffs coming to stores? We have a campaign that we are going to ask our fans to help us get Puff Cuff into stores. The best way to get a product into stores is for your customers to request with the store manager to carry the product. So we're going to have a, we're building a um, page on our website. This is the to original. Where you, can, you can download it, fill it out, give your information, and request that your local store manager of your CVS, Target, Walmart, Sally Beauty Supply, consider carrying this product. I can't see it. Without the black on it. There you go. Black Welcome. owner suppliers in Houston. What's I don't know about that. You can always email email us the information because I've never heard you know, this is a new thing for us too, so we depend on you all to tell us about, you know, business opportunities that are out there. It's all about networking, who you know and who you don't know. So, there's again a huge bun with no bobby pins. I put the then, Atlanta Beauty Depot and Smoda is almost. Oh, okay. What hair is used for your watch? You know what? I don't know the name of the hair. The girl that I go to to get my retro twist done, she's in um, Smyrna. And she gets the hair from somewhere in California. So it's not like I'm going to the beauty supply to she's buy it. it she's picking it up for me. So I took that same band that I had around my head earlier and put it around the base of my, my bun. How y'all like that? It's cute. Cool beans, match it with your outfit. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's see. I got, think I have one more. You guys want one more? Oh, close by me. Who do you go to? Her name is Fatima D. Her website is natastic.com. Like natural and fantastic together. It's called Natastic. I think right now she's running a special on crochet braids. I think $75 for, cro for crochet, but she is... Absolutely the best braider I've ever used. Okay, so we're going to take this one down. Um, Sorry, too. Okay, one more style. You guys want one more style? You guys ready to quit? Eight oh four. I'm getting some heart, so I'm going to say one more style. We're going to do it. Who do you need? So, for this one, I'm going to use the twist again. I'm going to style my twist. <laughs> three more. You know y'all want to get off and watch TV. We can't do no three more styles. But we can always do more at another Periscope. So, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> we're going to... I'm going to take my twist. And I'm just going to start twisting around to the back on each side and this I'm really just doing a two strand twist if you guys can see it or a flat twist flat twist I'm sorry <clears throat> my natural hair terminology sometimes isn't that great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure this twist with a mini I mean a micro 
until I'm ready to mess with it again so it doesn't come loose. So I've got that one done with the micro. I'm going to do the same thing. The micro is the tiniest one. No, that's a micro. It's a micro, not a mini. Let me show you the difference. That's a micro. This is a mini. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Secure it with the micro. Then I'm going to take all of it up. Which proctor? You've made this proctor for you. No, I invented this, this product. I invented it because when I switched from natural, from relaxed to natural hair, I needed a styling tool that would allow me to do my hair and not be in pain at the end of the day and there was nothing out there so I saw the need and I knew it was more than just me that needed something like this so my husband and I <laughs> my husband and I decided to invent it it's not a pain reliever but your hair you're not putting stress and strain on your head and your hair so you're not in pain I think it's a pain reliever. <laughs> right, but you can't like take a puff. It's up a if pain you reliever a, for husbands you because <laughs> you're, you're, it's a pain reliever for significant others because your woman ain't coming home with her head throbbing from being pulled up all day. So she's much nicer. <laughs> yes, I end up sleeping in it a lot of times too. So, okay, so we got the two rolls on either side. I'm going to take the micros back out because I don't need them anymore. Yes, it's healthy for you too because it's not pulling down your hair. I don't know if you guys saw it, but we have um, a, a blog up about traction alopecia and how women are represent 40% of hair loss and African American women, it's because of traction alopecia. Pulling our hair too tight, ruining our follicles, and of course, them jokers don't grow back. Mm -hmm. So, Puff Cuff is one of those remedies to where you can style your hair and you're not pulling the crap out of your hair. So, okay. So, can you guys see this? I ended up putting the back in a big ponytail with the Puff Cuff itself. Do you have multiple shareholders? No. No, we don't. No multiple shareholders. It's just my husband and I and sweat and tears okay for three-year-old yes we if you go to Perfect. um instagram you'll see a lot of individuals where mommies are using these to style their baby's hair boys and girls because a lot of times uh they don't want to cut their little boy's hair yet too so we actually did come up with the minis i mean the micros and the minis for mommies to be able to style their hair and stop putting their hair, their children's hair in tight, tight bows and those bobble things. Y'all remember them bobble things that you used to get slapped in the head with or when your mama was doing your hair and she dared you to cry? So we're trying to eliminate, <laughs> we're trying to eliminate those things. So we are going to sign off for tonight. We just want to remind you that um, our website is www thepuffcuff.com um, starbrown2012 email me at cita at thepuffcuff.com it's c-e-a-t-a -A at thepuffcuff.com um, for the month of February for Black History Month we have a, pro a, a promo going on that's because I am I can 20% off everything on the site except for wholesale orders and the toolbox. So it's 20% off for the whole month of back black uh, whole month of February in celebration of Black History Month. So I'm like they celebrating President's Day sales. We need to have a Black History Month sale. Mm -hmm. So all right, you all be blessed. Thank you so much. And um we'll see you next time. Take care, be blessed and be a blessing. Bye bye.
I'm one of those people who I really don't, since I've, I'd say for the past year or so, I've not, I've kind of stopped um, combing through my hair. I usually just kind of finger it to detangle it. Because one thing, the puff cuff works best when your hair is most dense. And I find that when you don't comb through your hair, that's when you get your best curls. So we're starting over here on the side. I'm heavy handed, so if she screams out, just kind of ignore it. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna start out with the, ch the chunky twist. And you can see how easy this is. Actually, I think I'm gonna twist it. You want it towards your face or away from your face? Hmm. Let's do it towards. Okay. Let's just see what it looks like. So what I've learned with twisting, you almost have to twist the, the chunks of hair at the same time while you're interlocking them together. Then you end up getting a better Hi, Brooklyn. looking twist. And I had to learn to not twist so tight in order to keep the, the fullness going. Who made our shirts, Theta? Actually, we made our shirts. What I do is we sell the shirts on, um, on our website, www.thepuffcuff.com. And um, we just happen to have on the long sleeve, but we sell the short sleeve on our website. And what I do is I usually scour Walmart <laughs> for when they go on sale and uh, buy up as many as I can. And then I have a guy who... Uh, um, Thank you so much. I have a guy who does my rhinestones for me, and he just presses the shirts for, him, for me as I need them. So I'm keeping going around with this chunky twist, and actually Jenny's hair is shorter in the back. So this is a style that you can achieve and not have to have a whole lot of length in the back. No date tonight, but the babies are asleep. So when I get home, you never know. <laughs> she might be making another. <laughs> so we've got that twist going around the side. And for here, I'm just going to grab it and pull it down. I'm not going to twist that. Oops, I'm sorry. I grabbed your earring. And because when I do her puff on the side... I'm almost going like her, her, when I gather it together, hey, Jersey, um, my the circumference of my fist is about this size. So that's why I try to kind of, <laughs> I kind of uh, try to base my puff cuff on that size. So I'm going to actually use the micro. A lot of people think that, oh, my hair is too big for the micro. What? No, it's not. All you got to do is figure out different styles that you can use with the micro. You don't have to put all of your hair in it. Oh, that has nothing to do with a uh, puff cuff, so baby, uh, you can go away. Yeah, block you. Okay, so we've got like ponytail. I would think the micro would work perfect for it, depending how thick. That is a good um, observation because my uh, puff cuff is um, puff cuff is a uh, unisex styling tool. So we had to block a couple of trolls there. Sorry. So um, right now we're doing the top bun. And we've got two ways to do the top bun. I've learned a couple different ways to do it. So we've got, I don't know, <laughs> uh, them, these, I, they need life is what, what uh, I kind of think what's going on. But they sitting on Periscope just waiting to harass people. So I'm going to use the, for this, I think I'm going to use the mini, which is this size. This is the second from the smallest. So, I'm going to put it up in the mini. 
not tight or anything. And then it's easy. This is a trick one of our followers taught me how to do a bun, especially if you don't have a lot, a lot of length, but you kind of trick yourself, trick the trick your hair into making a bun. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, our, our husbands do come home every night. <laughs> he said he helps his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, his wife what? <clears throat> Looks like us. Oh. <clears throat> um, take a couple of bobby pins. This is the easy way to fake a bun. Okay. So you gather it at the top. Instead of normally going out and then trying to stuff it around. Mm -hmm. You pull it up, gather it at the top, kind of twist your ends together and push it down in the center. Oh. Then okay. you take your bobby pin. You take your bobby pin and try to get it to Stay down in the center. That's cool. So, you see how easy that is? That's really cute. I like that. And cute. then to dress it up a little bit, I bought some of these real cheap hair bands. Uh, which size did we use? That one we started off. We started off with the uh, puff cuff mini. That was the mini. Thank you so much. We're glad you're joining us for our periscopes. So what I do is kind of hold this phone. Hold yeah, it right there. Like right in front. the front. Yep. Just to dress it up a little bit. Do a couple of different colored ones here. And kind of crisscross them to give your hair a little bit of pizzazz. Pizzazz. Match your outfit. One across here. Mm -hmm. We'll go with the gold again. That's See you. Cute. cute little date night bun. And you would set your hair with a little water. Right. You could. I mean, some people like the fuzzy edges. Some people like the straight edges. But you know. Super easy, super easy, super cute. Okay, next style. He's in heaven. <laughs> okay, so next style we're going to do. Top bun with scarf. Is that still me? Yep. Next, we're going to leave this up. So let's say you decided that. Your twist out or your, you know, when you stretched your hair, you didn't really like it too much. But you still want to have that bun look. Mm -hmm. So, I saw this on Pinterest the other day and I thought it was so adorable. So, you take one of these, you know, one of these long scarves. It's not a pashmina. It's called a Walmart mina. <laughs> and they're on clearance right now because they were from the fall collection. So, you take it. And um, kind of cover your bun up. I'm going to have you hold this right here. Tie it in the back in a knot. Tie it twice so it kind of anchors it down. And then what I do is, can I still hold it? I don't think you can let it go. You remember these clips from a long time ago? These things, you see them? I think they're, I used to call them duck bill clips or whatever. I kind of take it and I clip your, the, the scarf to your head in the back. I dropped the, oh, here it is. So, your scarf won't move on you. 
So once I've got that in, I kind of twist this, the two ends together. And I bring it up, keep on twisting. And you kind of keep tucking it around your bun. So then your hair gives you the height that you want and you're not in pain underneath. So then you got a quick head wrap style. That's cute. How you guys like that one? Bend over a little bit. See? This, okay, you have a question. Carmel, Carmel gal, tell, tell us what your question is. So this right here, while I say that, this is a super sundress style. Ooh, can you imagine if she had on a hot pink sundress with her hair pulled up and some big hoop earrings? <laughs> she have is the size of the puff cuff dessert determine the size of your puff it can it can and it, it yes and no because if, if you want a bigger puff if you want a bigger puff yeah you're gonna use this one the big big one this is the biggest one so you can see how big it is on my hand can we show them that show them what yeah i'll like, show them take take this one out and put the original in yeah that's the one i have yes so this one, the next one, is the junior. And what I'll do is I'm going to show you the difference. And by the way, folks, um, we always post these periscopes on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. channel. So you so can go back demos, and watch them. Yeah, you can go back and watch these demos. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take her bun out. Okay, so this is a bun based on the mini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the bun based on the mini. So if I wore it as a puff, it would be like Yes, this. this is the mini. Let me have a little water. Okay. So remember to get it out, you just push the sides together and it pops open. And you take it out. Now I'm going to show you the puff with the junior, the next size biggest, the next size up. You still gather it first. Put in one side, bring the other one around, close it. Then you can see it kind of gets more full. Mm -hmm. Then, the next one, push the arms together, pop it open. The next one, we're going to do the original. You notice, every time I use it, I'm doing, I'm gathering her hair the same way. How do you know what size puff cuff to get? Hold on, I'll answer that question in just a minute. So you see how it, the puff continues to get bigger. You get more volume with the bigger puff cuff you wear. Yeah, the bigger puff cuff you wear, you get more volume. But the smaller puff cuff you wear, you get like more height. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So those are, let's see, where are we at in our styling? Oh. And my, there was a question that's asked, what, what do you know? Um, don't feel like an imposter because no, if you, you can wear your hair you, curly and still yeah. wear a puff cuff. If you wear your hair in a rod set or, mm -hmm. you know, bantu knots, twist out or whatever, and you have a relaxer, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be um, just on uh, natural hair. As long as your hair is curly, then it'll work. The only thing is it won't work on straight hair. Straight hair, it'll slide right out. So let's see, top bun with scarf. Okay. One thing, let's see. You guys, I'm gonna do one more, one more quick something on her, really quick. Okay. Hmm? I saw this on a girl today. 
I don't know if I can do it real quick or not. How much time do we got? Oh, it's 7. 749. 749. Give me that extra. A lot of the times I, when I'm styling my hair, what is that? <laughs> well, a lot of times when I'm styling my hair, I might use a puff cuff in order to keep my other hair out of the way while I'm working with it to section off my hair is what I'm saying. This might look crazy, but we'll see. What it is, is it's kind of like Two corn rolls. Quick question. I used one of my products over last hair for Bantu knots, and it was great, but flaked really bad. Are you asking for a product selection, a product suggestion? If so, I'm not really a product person. I really just use what's under my kitchen sink. I mean, not under the kitchen sink, in my pantry. But you could try something like a water-based, uh, creamy styler, kind of like a maybe Shea Moisture has like a a pot of I don't know what it's called, but it's it's a Shea Moisture product, and I know it's water-based, and that wouldn't flake on you. So you need something that's probably more water-based instead of you know having something else as the first ingredient. So it's water-based if if water is the first ingredient. So what I did was, will you, will you be open? <laughs> um, you can always go. She wants to know when we'll be opening positions for brand ambassador. The link.